Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max the Devil's Playhouse, where we have found the rebels. They weren't actually very difficult to find. It turns out it's the mole people. Um, and actually, um, the, the one that we met in the previous episode as well. We also got all of Max's toys back, which is fantastic. So now Max's brain can do all the good things like future vision and rhinoplasty and teleportation, which is wonderful. Uh, I just want to try talking to these guys again to see if there's anything else we can do here. Little worshipful kneeling, huh? I know you love it, and I want to uh, talk to these mole guys for a bit about how cool Sam and Mac is. Great idea, pal. All right, let's, uh, yes, yeah, so there's lots of good things we can ask here. Let's ask about us. So, when this is all over, I get my body back, right? Your clothes may not survive the reality altering process. That's fine. And your list of favorite songs and television programs will remain the same, but sorted into alphabetical order. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I'm Sam and Mac. <laughs> Still, it's a small price to pay. Hey, alphabetical order is good. I like that. Unconscious mole guy. Why'd you knock out Obadiah there? He's had a hard time holding on to his identity in this new Thamun Mac centric reality. He might have salamandered you out to the Grand Vizier. I think you mean ratted. <laughs> Spoken like someone who's never loaned money to a salamander. Can't say that I have, no. Uh, what's this Norrington guy about? Who's this Norrington guy? And why is he talking in my head? We have no idea. Shortly uh. after Sam and Mac reordered reality, Norrington made contact with us and began aiding our desperate arrangements to defeat the Pharaoh. As long as he is an enemy of Thamun Mak, he is a friend of ours. Whoever he is, we trust him Ugh. implicitly. That seems like a very bad idea, given that we know he was the one who was commanding paperweight around. Can you guys cast any cool curses? The old ways are long lost to us city moles. Oh. But I can whip you up a tantalizing fresh pear and almond dessert pizza. I mean, it sounds relatively nice, I suppose. Rebels? Who are you guys, anyway? We are the last disciples of the anti Thamun Mac Society and Croquet League of West Nigeria. <laughs> right. A -S okay. Yes, yes, yes. It's an unfortunate acronym. Believe me, it spelled something a lot more awe inspiring back in ancient Egypt. Alright, fine. <laughs> brain screw. Hey, about that brain screw. You mustn't alert your partner to our plans. Can't we just give it to you? No, we could never get close enough to the Pharaoh to use it. He doesn't trust small people. Just because your people ripped out his brain a few thousand years ago? Huh, way to hold a garage. You must bring the brain screw to Salmon Max's side. Yeah, we can do that, don't worry. Are you sure we can't just give you this brain screw? All of Sam's kissing up to Sam and Mac is making me ill. <laughs> Courage, brave little squishy one. Just get close to Sam and Mac, then we'll take care of the rest. Alright, fine. Let's ask about Sam and Mac. I'm a little unclear on this. Did Sam and Mac change the world and make everyone but us think it had always been this way? Or did he actually change it so it's always been this way, and we're the only ones who uh, know that it hasn't? I don't want to think the about that. One. The second one. Oh, that's reassuring. Actually, Ugh. we don't really know. But really, what's the difference? Um, Whatever the nature of this perverted a big reality, Sam and Mac must be stopped. Is this not correct? Yes. No. What? What was the question? <laughs> that's the spirit. It makes a big difference, actually, and it's 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 screwing with my mind. So I don't want to think about it. Sam and Mac. Hang on. I've seen movies. The world's always been this way. How come everything's mostly the same? How come it's not raining chickpeas or flying <laughs> dinosaurs rule the cities instead of everything being so normal? We don't know why everything's so normal, talking rabbit brain in a jar. <laughs> Ask your friend the talking dog or the man-sized cockroach or the alien space gorilla. Just get on with it or we'll be stuck in this shuttily remade reality forever. All right, I mean, she, she makes a fair point. Let's, you let's stay go. here cowering in the dark. I'll go beat the bad guy. Good luck, moist savior. Uh, we'll be fighting by your you. side, in spirit, from down here. Yeah, big help, guys. Thank you. All right, well, um, let us head out. How, how do we head out? Do we go this way? Is there, like, a ladder or something? Oh, no, we just go out of the 
um, tunnel. Fine, well we know what we've got to do now, we've got to take the brain screw to summon Mac and then basically I guess yank his brain out of Max's body. That seems like the obvious choice. Um, can we talk, we can talk to Max, now I've been told to do this by Lucas 2.0, if you remember in the last one I was asking about if Max was still president and apparently we can talk to Max and actually ask that. Um, hey, so. What is it Max? Uh, so yeah, I, d I don't know where the option comes up, we'll just go through these. I'm a little fuzzy about how our last case wrapped up. Well, after Skunk Ape kidnapped you, I went on an embarrassing noirish rampage through the streets, eventually tracking you good down times. to the museum, where I, um, uh, uh, hail Salmon Mac. He doesn't Ouch. remember. Looks like Salmon Mac's rewrite of history has more gaps than a British subway system. <laughs> good. All right, Salmon Mac. How long has Salmon Mac been in charge of everything? Oh, Sam and Max always been in charge. Ever since he emerged from the newly created sun, resplendent in his billowing robe of glorious wonderment, and banished the evil cat demons to the underworld. Right. Cat demons? Yes. They ruled the earth in the before time. Ah, I see. What about the city? If Sam and Max's so great, why is the city still such a mess? Well, Sam and Mac doesn't stress cleanliness. He's more of a tithing and sacrifice kind of deity. Right, yeah. Okay, what about your memory? So as far as you know, I've been a disembodied brain during the entire time you've known me, right? Um, yeah. How could I possibly be an effective force for violently ironic justice without fists, teeth, or a gun? Good point. Don't sell yourself short, Max. Your poisonous personality and sharp-edged <laughs> container has gotten us out of more jams than I care to remember. Like? Well, there's... Hail Salmon Mac! Alright, yeah, he just Yeesh. doesn't remember. Okay, President. If Salmon Mac's in charge of everything, who's President of the United States? Don't be ridiculous, Max. You are. Phew! Of course, it's largely a ceremonial position. All you really do is go to a lot of mall <laughs> openings. Well, there we go. So we are still the president. That's the question answered. So thank you, Lucas 2.0, for um, pointing that out, because that was literally what I was wondering. Any luck getting me a body? Why do you want a body anyway? You've never wanted one before. Forget it. All right, well, it's nice chatting Let's with Max's Will brain. Um, I guess there's all sorts of things we can potentially do with our um, restored toys, but before we get into that, I think I'm probably going to try and use the car and see where else hey, we can go. Hail Salmon Mac! Thank you, Chippy. Hail Salmon Mac! Yeah, yeah, hail Salmon Mac! <laughs> Straight and Narrow, Gift Vault, Frankie the Rat Museum. Uh, I mean, Frankie the Rat. We haven't seen him for a while, so let's head over there. So these Summon Mac busts are like literally everywhere, aren't they, by the looks of things? Whee! That, that was embarrassing, Sam. Don't do that again. Alright, um, so there's one here. If I'm going to be franchised out, I should at least be collecting licensing fees. <laughs> Good point. Um, there's a phone here. Can we it use this? It costs four lots of green to use this payphone. I remember when it was just a half bladder of lamp oil. Sure you do. Sure you do. Um, yeah, so I'm guessing we can maybe use that as a teleportation thing. Toaster ad. Come on! When your toaster's gone kaput, bring it down to Radio Yurt. Nicky may charge an arm and a leg, but at least his poetry sucks. <laughs> uh, can we use the thing on that? I mean, that's what's standing out to me straight away. Let me help you out with that, little buddy. Don't mind if you do. All right, so Sam's going to do it. So we can become a toaster if we want to. So, you know, that's, oh, that's a thing. Brutal. So, I mean, let's not become a toaster for now. <laughs> but we have the option, which is nice. Radios. Do they still make those? Keep it down, will you? We're trying to listen to the fights. Mm. Sorry, my bad. The fights. Yeah. Frankie. Ah, jeez. As if I don't have enough trouble today. Now I gotta deal with the freaking freelance police. Oh, come Beat on. It, coppers. Yeah, let us fleece our cousin in peace. <laughs> do my not ears deceive me, or are those rats mouthing off to they us? They do seem to be. I believe they are, Max. Shall we make a lesson of them? We should, yeah. I believe we shall. Now be nice while we talk to your cousin. <laughs> Let's ask about Salmon Mac. That Salmon Mac sure is the bee's knees, isn't he? You know it, pal. Take a look at this cool bit of bling. If I get a couple more oh, of these one of those. accessories of privilege, I'll be hobnobbing with the big ass himself. 
So we're going to need to get all these so that we can go and see Sam and Mac, I guess. So we're going to have to try and get his one. We're going to have to try and get Grandpa Stinky's one. Um, let's salute. Sam and Mac is handsome. Sam and Mac is cute. When we think of Sam and Mac, we give a big salute. Okay. Can we kneel? Sam and Mac is mighty. Sam and Mac is grand. Come on, guys. Grow some basal ganglia. Okay, so it doesn't look like we can interact with that while any of that's going on. Let's ask about the gambling. What sort of low-rent criminal shenanigans are you and your kin perpetrating out here? Yeah. And please keep in mind that I can see the future, so I'll know if we'll be slapping you around for lying <laughs> to us later on. Hey, there's nothing illegal going on here, honest. Me and my cousins were just engaging in a little friendly wagering over Samu Max, uh, what you call it, gladiatorial bouts. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, of course we don't actually bet on who wins or loses. That Skunkape gorilla is impossible to beat. Ah. Uh, so we bet on what the general's finishing move's gonna be. Finishing move? <laughs> How 90s? <laughs> when General Skunkape finishes off an opponent, he'll use one of his six signature moves to do the deed. Before each fight, we make bets on which one it's gonna be. Ah. Fascinating. No, it's not. No, it's a little rat guy, Max. <laughs> so I'm guessing we're gonna have to bet and beat them to do this, but we're probably going to have to fix this in some way, aren't we? Hey, you're a rat who knows how to get things. Plague, diphtheria, scabies. <laughs> do you have a line on any empty bodies that we could drop Max's brain into? I'm getting a little existential in here. <laughs> I'd like to help, guys, but uh, that's a little out of my pay grade. I can fix you up with a nice car stereo, though. Uh, thanks, we'll pass. Yeah, no, we'll Let's pass not now. be too hasty, Sam. The powers of my psychic brain melded to a kicking sound system could be a formidable force for justice. Uh, okay. We can still ask about the gambling. Accessory. That's some sweet Sam and Mac themed bling you got there. Bling? <laughs> Do people still say that? And not just any bling. This here's a genuine pendant of Inquisition, given to me by Lord Samu Mac after I personally checked the 160,000 orifices of 20,000 guests at the security checkpoint of His Majesty's Summer Soiree. Wow. Classy. Tell me we're not going to do that. <laughs> Can we ask more? Can I uh, borrow your thingy of Inquisition? No! How about throwing it in the pot to spice things up a little? Nah, uh, I'll stick with cash. Hmm, okay. So us more about the gambling. Could you run through this whole gladiatorial gambling thing again? You probably couldn't tell, but I was asleep the last time. <laughs> sure, sure, no problemo. Like I said, me and the boys like to bet on which of the six signature finishing moves General Skunkape uses to annihilate his opponent in Samu Mac's pit of contrition. <laughs> All right, we can place a bet. Mind if I lay down a bet? You, a freelance cop? Gambling on the street like a common rat? Hey, guys, wake up! What? What? The high and mighty freelance policeman wants to make a bet on the next fight. Bring him on! More money for us! Do we even so, have money? which move do you think Skunkape will use next? Uh... All right, I'm not gonna... Oh, oh my god, look at all of these, look. I'm not gonna bet for now. Second thought, I'm not up for any gambling right now. Too chicken to hang with the big rats, eh? Can't say as I blame you. These guys are cleaning me out. All right. Um. Let's see. Don't go anywhere, Frankie. <clears throat> Why would I go? I feel a hot streak coming on. Right in the We'll see about that. Can we future vision this to find out what he's actually going to do? That's like my initial thought on this. Uh, radio. Gunkape is moving in for the kill. Which one of his signature moves will he use? Is it? Oh man. That was even more useless than usual. Come oh, on! Come Gotta on. love the way the general uses his hands. Too bad I didn't get the rest right. Ah, jeez, I thought for sure he'd use one of them simian moves this time. Skunkape, you joik! Why didn't you goily slap him? Okay, so he uses his hands, doesn't do the simian thing, and doesn't girly slap. Right in the bonza. So, let's see if we can decode. Again? Tell him nothing, Frankie. Yeah. Okay, let's let's try it and see if Let's we can narrow it down. Hey, it's your loss, Squeaky. We might not be able to. So, not Simeon, not Simeon, not the gorilla slap, not the girly gorilla slap. Um. So, not his legs. So I'm guessing it's the space ape kidney punch. 
I'll put down 20 on the Space Ape Kidney Punch. Sam, since when do you have any cash? And, uh... <clears throat> Where are you carrying it? <laughs> hey, since Sam and Mac kicked us out of our office, we've been saving a bundle by living out of the DeSoto, and B, none of your damn business. Touche. All right, cousins of mine, Sam has made his bet. What are your picks? Hmm, let's see. How's about the Simeon Sucker Punch? Now you're gonna lose. big ones on the Simeon Sucker Punch! You're gonna lose. Nice bets, guys. But, uh, I'll be raking it in with my 20 smackers on the Gorilla Curry Afraid you won't. But first, I better go get some cash. Right. What's that all about? Frankie doesn't trust us, so he never carries any cash when he's around us. No, he's going. Subsequently, he always has to run off to the ATM machine every time he makes a bet. Hey, Paulie, you just called it an ATM machine. Ah, oh, you idiot. So what? It's got so machine that's in the redundant. name. Redundant. That's what. I'm back. He's fixing oh, the fight. That's a good thing too. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern here were starting to put me into a coma. Shh. The fight's about to start. Hmm. Looks like another blasphemous mole man has entered the ring to face <laughs> off against Salmon Max undefeated champion Skunkape. Let's see how he does. Skunkape circles the ring. The challenger runs for his life. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Skunkape's moving in for the kill. Which one of his signature moves will he use? Is it yes? It's the space ape kid. Oh, we got it! And the crowd goes wild! Skunkape, you joik! Why didn't you goily slap him? We got it. I love the way the general uses his hands. Too bad I didn't get the rest right. Ah, jeez. I thought for sure he'd use one of them simian moves this time. Hey, I won. We, we won by oh, cheating. Dog. Yes, that's it. Luck. In no way aided by a brain with powers to see into the future. Yeah. Don't push it, Max. They may be smarter than they look. Ooh, that's all right, brutal. so we've got all the cash now. So I wonder if we can, like, maybe... Where's the cash go? Maybe we can do it again and then like trade for this or something. Uh, but I tell you what, we will try that in the next one because we're out of time. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Kumadin, Paul Leone, and Flossie the Sheep. And I'll see you next time.